Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going through Imperious Rex, that is the uncollected difficulty for the event quest this month. And we're starting off here with Joe Fixit. Now, I want to show you guys the easiest path to take if you're just doing an initial clear. So I'm taking the path that has the one star chest. That's a very good way of finding out which path is the easiest. All right, it normally does not have anything other than the global nodes. All right, so Joe fix it, very easy. Uh, you saw the team that I went in here with. It's the same team that I went in with uh, in the previous quest. And I kind of stick with this team throughout. I do swap out uh, one team member when we get to Invisible Woman uh, for Quake. But other than that, I've pretty much stuck with the same team. All right, so down went Joe Fixit. Next up is Hulkbuster. So I like using Ghost. She is one of my favorite champions. Uh, but I brought out Corvus. He's also one of my favorite champions because I could get a couple of charges here. Two missions done. Uh, we get the tech mission and we get the Avenger mission. So... I couldn't pass that up. You never know. These initial uh, chapters, uh, chapter one especially, are pretty easy. But I'm not going to pass up a chance to, you know, get some charges on Corvus. But if you don't have Corvus or any 565s, you can still get through most of this. Uh, even four stars will do. All right, so now we're facing this guy here, Diablo, one of the most hated mystic champions. Or he was until Ebony Maw came into the contest. Uh, I've heard that Ebony Maw is even worse than Diablo. Didn't think it was possible, but apparently it is. I have yet, I got him in the arena, and I have yet to fight with him. Not even in arena. All right, so we got through with Diablo pretty easily and we're facing Cyclops who of course is also quite easy and as you can see it doesn't even matter whether he's blocking or not Corvus can crit through block so we just ripped him apart didn't even have to hit him just destroyed him and we got another mission so Corvus is well not fully loaded but he is quite beefy right now. Uh, I'm also running suicides throughout my initial run. Uh, if you saw my last one, you saw that I was running suicides then as well. Uh, and Corvus not only plays well with suicides, he thrives on suicides. He is so much better uh, with suicides on. Uh, he is very dependent on his attack and with suicides, and I'm running full suicides, he's gaining quite a bit of attack and his damage ramps up crazy amounts All right so we're going in here again with Corvus uh, rather than Ghost just because I like Corvus and I like to try to get these things done as quickly as possible uh, Ghost is quite fast as well uh, but I figured since in the last one I used Ghost a lot this time, I might use Corvus a little bit more, just for a little variety. All right, so we're already here at the final boss, and it is Green Goblin. Now, in the past, I have had a lot of trouble evading his special two, and I hated it. Uh, I used to be able to evade it, then for a time, I wasn't able to evade it at all, um, and now I can evade it again. All right, so you see the active buffs on this node. Nothing too crazy, to be honest with you. So I decided to go in with Corvus, of course, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, but my Starkey could do this fight as well. Ghost can do this fight just fine. Uh, so I had options going in here. But as you can see, we are just ripping him up. You know, and then I don't know what happened here. Just stopped blocking. But... We took the hits and took them down. So that's going to do it for this video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. 
and you all have a blessed day.